everyone and welcome back to my channel so i went to home bargains today just to pick up a few bits and i went a little bit storage organizational crazy so if you want to see what i picked up then keep watching my urge is to keep going happy new year but i don't know how long you can say that until it gets a bit weird but i will say i'll say it one more time so happy new year i hope you're enjoying it so far i am just getting back into the swing of things this week now the children are back at school um which is nice like i don't actually touch wood feel the january blues in the way that i have in previous years um which is really nice like normally i will kind of mourn christmas being over quite heavily like i'll be really sad when the lights go down and i'll be really like oh it's not as good but this year it just feel like i don't know refreshed ready for a, a new start i was explaining it to mark the other night do you remember when you were in school and you used to get a new textbook maybe it would be like a maths book or an english book or something like that and it'd be a brand new one and the teacher would be like oh you finish your old one uh, here's a new one or if it's like a new school year and you get your new books and you look at it and it's got these three lines on the front cover where you can write your name and you're just like I'm gonna do my best handwriting ever that's how I feel I'm gonna do my best living ever will it last beyond January will things slowly go downhill who knows but I would like to think that maybe not because I've never felt quite so positive in any year and I'm really enjoying it so I, I hope that you feel the same and if not um sending it your way like this uh excuse my nails they're massively grown out but where i go for my nails they have actually gone back to visit family um so they are back next week and i'll be getting them done so they are very festive very talony very long they're annoying me too i'm really sorry but let's get on with what i've picked up shall we um because it's quite nice to go in and you know what compared to last time i was in there before christmas it was dead before christmas you couldn't move for people but january dead let's get going okay so we're going to start with like food items first um, and then think i'll work my way through like cleaning themed stuff which will make more sense on a sheet and then i'll do the organizational stuff at the end um so I, there are certain things that i go to like what well, i go to home bargains for that you can't really get elsewhere or they're just a bit cheaper there and um, the first thing were these these bliss bars i got the dark chocolate and coconut whip bars i really like these and um, dieting is just not for me i don't like being restrictive i feel like despite the success i've had with past diets it messed me up far more than it benefited me and i just don't want to go down that path anymore but it doesn't mean that at certain times i won't try and just make better choices do you know what i mean uh, especially after christmas it's not so much that i want to like stop eating butter or cream or anything like that i just want to feel better you know when you just feel a bit well so i get things in like this because i actually genuinely do like them especially anything coconutty or minty so these are the skinny whip ones mint and dark chocolate and i really like these because they have like little crunchy minty bits in the middle and they're nice so i got those i got these oreo bars which i've never seen anywhere else um but it could just be where i shot they're fresh milk snacks um you get four in a pack which means that one of my children's gonna benefit from getting the spare one somehow uh, but they really liked them last time i got them and they're obsessed with anything oreo so i picked those up to either like have as a snack at home pop in a lunch bar something like that. i mean who cares they're for the kids and then i got two packs of strip cheese dairy Lee ones because uh, they were only 99p for four so i picked two up because they're again a great thing to have in for like packed lunches so those a random thing i did pick up uh and aldi do these as well but they used to be what was the brand can anyone remember there was a brand that did them they were like a were they capri or something but they had a certain name and i cannot for the life of me remember what they were called but they're belgian chocolate thins with like little crispy bits in they're shaped like pringles and these are the mint one and like anything mint and chocolate because i prefer dark chocolate um to like milk chocolate i just I love and i just thought a few with like a coffee or like i don't know just a few in the evening with a bowl of fruit or something but just take the edge off and they're yummy they're really nice and you can apparently put them on 
ice cream or cakes as well as having them with a the brew so there we go very creative i pretty much always get these at the moment when i go to home bargains roosters for 99p bill's obsessed with them you probably all know that by now uh pretzel thins these crack for ones these are a huge bag i'm just looking for the grammage doesn't say probably just stay but i haven't got time to keep looking for it but you can tell it's a big bag it's the size of my head and they last for ages and we all love salted like pretzel things in this house so pick those up again and i got the red crocodile snacks with ketchup taste because every time i buy them they just go and they were 49p i think so that's those not a snack per se at least not for us but they are kitty snacks um i've got this giant bag of goodie bag like cat treats because my cats are always hungry and just constantly spend the day screaming at me for more food cleaning bits first off i just got some new plug-in refill things um because everything that we have is either like there's one right in front of me that's nearly run out and they're all like christmasy themed and i don't know about you but i love the whole cinnamon apple clove scent but the minute christmas is over it feels like really wrong to smell it is that weird i don't know that's just me but then i start to think oh no i need to smell like you know flowers or fresh linen or something like that and i i don't know i'm very weird with smells i mean i i love things to smell nice it's a real big thing for me um because I've got a really sensitive sense of smell, so it's daisy. Um, but yeah, I got these. They're jasmine, bloom, and freesia, and peony and cedar. And I just picked them up because they're always more affordable there than they are anywhere else. Similarly, on the scent side of things, I've been using the Zaflora so Winter Spice since like November and it's gorgeous and it's so strong and lovely. So I'm going to put that in the cupboard to save for next and like November I'm sure it will last um and now I've got sweet pea um because obviously again it's just it's so strong and I was cleaning out our pantry cupboard the other day and I could smell it and it was so strong and it was lovely but I was like this is so weird because it's not Christmas anymore so I've gone with this one um and I did smell the actual like concentrated version it was really nice actually so yeah sweet pea it is I got these blue pack like three in one pack thing for toilets we have three toilets so it made sense it's value pack so pick that up because they will need changing soon i do my big clean on friday so i'll check them then see if they need changing otherwise i'll wait until next week and then i got a fresh matic refill for cherry blossom because we had like apple spice or something like that and then i got a sage and vanilla foam freshener because it was either that or like unicorn dust and I'm just, I don't know if I'm a unicorn dust kind of girl, so we went with this instead. Sticking with the spring cleaning vibe, I got these. So one is for your dishwasher, one is for your washing machine, um, just to set them on a clean cycle and freshen them up. I tend to do this like every month now, every couple of months, I'm not perfect. In, in between, I will probably use things like a cat full of Sephora and run it that way, but these are good for like an intensive clean. And again, they were really affordable in the Dr. Bettman range, which I really rate. Another thing that I found for food was um, this Indie Grand Butter Chicken Curry Sauce. My mum and dad put me onto these and they're actually really tasty and they come in a variety of different like flavors. Um, but it's a great one to have in to make a curry, a quick curry for the kids. Um, because we'll often have curry but the curries I make sometimes will be too spicy for them and I thought we could do a curry night at one point because I've got loads of frozen curry in the freezer and I was trying to think ahead to get something that they could have that would they would like and I think I'm going to do this and add a bit of cream in do it with chicken and stuff and then we can do like um a family curry night like maybe in a future week on our meal plan so that's what that was for then i picked up winter angel which i'm pretty sure is a jeep for snow fairy you know from lush this is exactly what it smells like they're not stupid are they fabuloso what you like so if you want your house to smell like snow fairy maybe your bathroom when you're cleaning it this would be a good shout toothpaste for the kids i got this one because i find with this like tube there is a lot less mess when you give a child a toothpaste tube a normal one things can get wild in our bathroom and um this is slightly more controlled which is why i 
take I've taken to getting it for their bathroom at the moment because they can't squeeze it like crazy children. And then oh, I've got hair in my face. The last um kind of cleaning or like a hygiene thing are two mouthwashes, one for their bathroom, one for hours, ten in one care. It's basically a Jeep for um what is that listerine <laughs> you know the 10 in 1 one um and i've just been like craving that kind of freshness after i brush my teeth at the moment so i thought i'd pick them up and the kids love doing mouthwash and um, and they're both alcohol free which is good now on to themed things there wasn't loads yet but there were already some valentines and some easter bits out and i only picked up what i like liked or thought would be handy there's a lot of stuff that isn't just like is not my style like a lot of the easter stuff can be very like um it's cutesy and like kitschy and that kind of thing but it's just not my style at all but it's lovely um but i did pick up a few bits for the kids however for the um valentine's section um that's going to grow i think they've got it was made me really sad to see on one side of the aisle like on this side was diet 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 stuff protein shakes protein bars slim fast uh, weights it was it was just so sad because like i know that that's what marketing is but it just made me feel really sad but then on the other side it was equally as depressing really because it was like christmas discounted stuff that didn't sell random pajamas and then a little section for um, Valentine's Day. There's not loads. So if you're looking for Valentine's Day stuff, I would maybe leave it a week or two. Uh, but I did see these and they're hanging honeycomb paper hearts. I do try and do our chocolate fondue station for the kids at Valentine's Day and um, set it up all nice for them. And I thought I would get these and hang them above our dining table just because, you know, it's a day for love so i like to show them that they're really loved and appreciated too and it was 99p for a pack of tea and if i'm gentle enough because they're clipped i think rather than sticky so you could potentially reuse them i have some honeycomb decorations from christmas that were magnetized so i've been able to fold them store them safely and i'll just get them out every year whereas a lot of stuff is stuck together and then you kind of have to like either rip it apart or it just gets squashed so hopefully these are reusable that would be really nice next up i picked up some easter gift bags um now i do this for the kids they were 59p each so not a complete ripper um the kids get so much sweets and chocolate throughout the year anyway that when we get them stuff i just feel like i'm just fueling the fire like we're gonna have we've still got christmas chocolate left um we barely get through, like halloween sweets some of them are to throw in yet. you know when they start to stick together and, and stuff like that like it, it feels so like wasteful sometimes so what i prefer to do is do them a little gift bag like this i don't go crazy um and i just put little things in like you know maybe there'll be a book or this that and the other just something to make them smile nothing daft i don't put chocolate in really because that tends to be or the family members will get them but i got three of these each and then to go inside i got these so let me organize myself i've got some like chick tissue paper 10 sheets came in here and i think that was about 79p for them so that's quite cute to like stuff it with so it's more of a oh what's inside and then i got face mask so this is daisy it's a pick and mix nourishing sheet mask and she's gonna look like a tub of pick and mix so that's that one and then Bill and Stan have got movie night where they're little light buckets of popcorn. And I'm gonna pop those in each of the bags. And then I got them one of these marshmallow lollies each. Um, because again, not chocolate. And then I think other things that I might put in is I'll go back to home bargains near the time. They'll probably have like an Easter themed bath bomb because they normally do. Um, I'll see if there are any other Easter goodies that aren't like chocolatey things um, and maybe like a book or something or just like a bit like kind of like a little mini self-care package for them um, and I love doing stuff like this and when I see them I, I start because starting early keeps me organised because now it's on my radar that you know this is coming up and I can do it before 
things get super super busy because um january work-wise at least in terms of brand work and stuff is generally quieter as the marketing industry tends to be so I try and use this time productively to make um content that i really really enjoy making for you or like planning things um trying to focus on myself because december is an example and november was crazy um and i felt really run down afterwards so i'm just trying to like think ahead use my time wisely so this is um this is the beginning of easter which is crazy because it's january but i've got so many birthdays and family members birthdays and kids birthdays and friends birthdays to think about it oh my god that made me jump did you mean <laughs> i literally what that really frightened me. I literally went, ugh. I thought everyone was like, in the, anyway, never mind. We'll just shut up now. And then, now we've recovered. <laughs> I got this Blue Piece Shelly's. It's like a collectible. There's 12 to collect. Um, as part of Daisy's friend's birthday um, present. I also have here a Fun Locket. It's actually over there. A Fun Locket's diary that I've already bought. But it's like, there's four of them and they're all like little besties. And... Poppy, her friend, is actually doing sleepover, which is their first sleepover collectively. So they're very excited about that. And um, I just wanted to get a few cute little things together because, like, the girls are, like, they're like little sisters together and they all mean a lot to me. So I picked up one of these and it was only, like, I think it was £7. Um, so I'll probably do that and give her the fun locket and then get one, like, small little thing, maybe, like, a little, like, bag of her favourite, like, sweets or treats or something like that i'll have to ask um my friend what she likes but yeah they got that one and i thought they would be really cute actually they come in like a little shell and it has a handle like a little bag and it's quite a sweet collectible if you were thinking of something for like um, a kid's birthday party especially with like we have three birthday parties coming up for stan and for seven pounds that's actually very reasonable and then um randomly i picked this up i've i i do not know if i've ever had a yankee candle home inspiration one before you know the they look like this is it showing up it's not quite the traditional yankee candle i don't know if they're any better or like not as good or, or what but it was only five pounds and oh it's so nice it smells it's called sunny cotton and actually the smell genuinely makes me think of being abroad on holiday oh that's really nice <laughs> don't mind me yeah i'd recommend that that i mean hopefully i've not burnt it yet but it's the smells really nice and now on to storage so first thing i got was this dry storage set so it comes with three now <laughs> my reasoning with this obviously we have a dog and we have two cats so we will bulk buy their food um so they go in the garage but they're these huge massive bags so every morning like you know when it's freezing i like come downstairs and it's the first thing i do and i'm like half asleep and it's cold and horrible and i go into the garage and it's like oh and i go in there and I'm, I'm bending down digging in with scoops and like dropping cat food and dog food everywhere because the, the bits always fall off and i was just thinking like this is just so like as part of my routine it is so annoying and I would honestly rather fill up one of these every few days with cat food and dog food and just pour it in every morning than do that scoop of hell. Because um, cause there's three of them and the dog's bowl obviously takes a few scoops. I'm backing in and out of the garage like five times a morning. And that's not even including the times that I have to like top it up. But the morning one's the worst. So I'm going to... Put the dog food in the big one, the cat food in the middle sized one, and then in the smaller one, which you see there, I'm gonna put dreamies. Thought this out when I, because at first I was like, why can't I just buy like two of the big ones? And then I was like, think about it, Charlotte. What, how can we utilize these to make it worthwhile? And then that idea came. So I've got those, and it means that I can organize the utility a bit better because it's been driving me bonkers. It, it's where I hide a lot of stuff for like Christmas and stuff. It's got games and crafts in. And every time I attempt to try, tidy it, it just gets trashed again. So I'm seriously considering like taking everything out and looking at it and rejigging the way things work because at the moment it's just not working, I don't think, and it's irritating me. But that's a positive step towards cat and dog feed. And um, 
you know, we'll see how it works for now. It's not like they won't get used for something. If, if any bigger ones, I can always use them for cereal and stuff. But they were only, I think they were £4.99 for three. And I thought that was actually really good. And they're sturdy as well. They're not naff. Oh, I like that. It was satisfying. Like that. Next up, our fridge. Now, if you've seen videos of mine before, you'll see that, like, I have two boxes in our fridge that were just, like, storage boxes we already had. And they're pink and they're opaque and they're quite high. And I will keep the kids, like, snacks and stuff. And I will take them out to um, do packed lunches and things like that. And it keeps the fridge organised. So it's great. Like, when I'm doing a packed lunch, I'll take the boxes out. I'll pick out of what I want and then I'll put them back in. But the problem is with them being opaque and I keep them on the top shelf. Um, where they are, the fridge light is blocked so the fridge can be quite dark i can never see what's in them because they're quite tall and like they're opaque so i can't see like what we need at a glance and i thought well i need some storage boxes anyway for what i want to do in the utility so i'll just repurpose those and i will get these and i saw them and i rang mark and i was like hi and he's like oh you're all right and i think because i'm a nervous driver i think he always thinks i'm like done something bad um but i was like can you do me a favor um if you're not on a call really quickly and he was like go on then what do you want and i was like you know how you keep that tape measure next to your desk he does he has tape measure and a screwdriver next to his desk like that prized possession um i was like can you go and measure the shelves in the fridge because i want to make sure that these will fit so he measured them he came back and he was like oh it's like about 30 centimeters and i was like oh because these were 31.5 and i thought do you know what i know there's a bit of a gap between the door and stuff and how they fit and the bracket part of where the shelf sits on so i'll buy them see if they fit i can always return them i've got my receipt and i'm just going to give it a go because you don't always know i took one out before to try it in the fridge and it fits like a dream and you can see through them there's more height the fridge is brighter so i'm going to completely update the way i've organized that because again the fridge is another thing where sometimes things just get stuffed in and getting into that habit of like it creeping on me that it might get messier and messier and i don't want that because you know i've not had a brand new kitchen until like this one and it is so like precious to me it means the world to me and i want to keep looking after it and not get into bad habits so i've got these for the kids snacks and then i have the two medium ones for um i thought i could put like sandwich items in them so for example this one has dust in i definitely will wash them anyway um like maybe like hams and meats in one and then like cheeses in the other because again those are things i don't know if you find this that just get all higgledy piggledy in your fridge um so i was thinking like hams or like um you know like cocktail sausages anything like that it's mainly a lot of the food in our fridge is mainly towards like lunches for the kids because we just we need so much it goes so quickly um so yeah i got those and i'm really really happy with them i think altogether there was something like 249 and 299 each the bigger ones obviously being more expensive but i'm really hopeful that they will be perfect and they're just they're the right size they've got like a nice little handle grab section and you could obviously fit like a label here as well which I might do because i'm feeling very labely um but yeah i'm really excited i just i'm in the mood to sort things out and i think a lot of us are um, i said on my stories i feel like i'm showing all of the natural behaviors of a woman in her 30s in january because i'm trying to drink less and and eat less and move more and organize my life and i've bought diaries that i'm filling in because those diaries are going to change my life don't just you wait i'm i'm doing mindfulness I listen to a mindfulness like meditation thing in the car on the way home and i'm just you know what it's good though it's obviously like what the body and the mind wants or what the body and the mind wants and i'm just moving with that feeling right into the new year um <laughs> i'm in a funny mood today um so yeah that is everything i'm gonna squirrel away put these all away before i go and do the school pickup and i've just also had a email to say that my um parcel is ready to pick up from the post office but i'm not gonna have time to do that now and i really don't want to go with three children so we shall see anyway best be off have a lovely rest of your day whatever you're up to and i will hopefully see you all very very soon thank you so much for watching bye